Routine. So first of all, my name is John Stefanski. I hope that my thick Israeli accent, you're able to understand my English well, but hopefully you'll get the message even though, oh, here we go, we're ready to go. Okay, so I lied. I see it, you guys don't, but hang on. All right, we'll figure this out. I'm gonna start anyways, here we go. I've seen this presentation once or twice, so I can do it without even looking. So um, video is huge. Oh, it's up, thank you, Corey, okay. Video is huge, right? We know it's exploding. The speaker before me said, a picture's worth a thousand words, while a video is worth 1.8 million words in terms of that. So we know it works. Video is enormous. But what's insane is we talk to marketers around the world, and when you ask them how they measure their campaigns, what's working, what's not working, they're really data experts, open rate, click rate, conversion rate, and really be able to track what's happening when we run these marketing campaigns. But when it comes to video and you ask these same professionals, what's working, what's not working, they talk about things like, did someone watch my video? How long did they watch for? And zero correlation to whether that video is helping your business, and if it is, what message is resonating that's triggering your users to take audience? So on the one side, right, we have this huge spike where video is exploding and marketers are using it for all sorts of business. But on the flip side, they have no idea if it's working and if it is, why? And the problem is, is that when you don't, when you make these mistakes, you wind up misspending literally billions of dollars. So here's an example of an ad campaign that we helped a company run. The blue line or orangest line represents the click-through rate, which is what they wanted to do to drive users to the new landing page. And the blue graph represents their percentage of spend. And so to make a long story short, 70%, which is the blue line here in network three, was being spent to the second worst performing network, which means a 0 0.03 click-through rate, the number of people being sent to the site, versus 1.2% for the top performing, meaning they were losing four X, 400% of potential viewers to their website because they were focusing on convenience metrics. Meaning, did people watch my video to the end as opposed to driving people? And that's what happens when you focus on metrics like video completion rate and not on what actions people are actually taking for your video. And so that's why Viewbix was created, to help marketers really use and leverage their video more effectively to create this impactful interactive video and on the back end measure performance. So we put these calls to actions in the video that are aligned with your business goals and those can literally be anything from content marketing down to leads and sales, et cetera. And then most critically, we're capturing every action that occurs within the framework of the video. And by doing that, you start to get some really interesting insights of what viewers are doing. So here's an example, I lied. Here's an example, oh, okay, I missed it. Here's an example of a customer of ours, Cuisinart, and what's interesting is, is that they wanna drive people to retailers. They don't sell direct, and so when you click on find a retailer, it brings in a live feed of retailers that have this product in stock and at the price point that they wanna sell. And what the blue line represents is second by second of when people are clicking on that to actually find a retailer. And what's interesting about this is you start to see what's happening in this video on these spikes in the blue line that are driving performance. So what we can do is watch the video a little bit, and it's one minute long, but let's see if this works. Hang on. Now you can make. Oh, I lied. It should work. It was working? All right, hold on one second. All right. Now. You can make ready-to-drink authentic cold brew in as little as 25 minutes with the Cuisinart Automatic Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Unlike me. Okay. Oh, I can't pause that. This is awful. But what you would see is in that scene where you saw the coffee being poured, and we won't just do this, but trust me, come by our booth and I'll show you this video, is what precedes every single spike is a cup of coffee in a mason jar. Even though the rest of the video, one minute, the features, the functionality, the brew strength, you show a cup of coffee in a glass jar and people say, where can I buy this product? Crazy, right? So I think, listen, there's the Instagram food porn effect and we love seeing pictures of food, but we looked at their other videos that they use with us, sandwich maker, cut toaster ovens, there's a consistency that their audience cares about the finished product. Meaning if I buy your product, I can make this. If I buy your product, I can get that. And so what we're providing to customers now is the ability to transform their storytelling. So now instead of focusing on how the product works, they're using it to create recipe videos and showing you what you can get from the video. And from a performance perspective, because we know when people are engaged when they see that cup of coffee, guess when the best time to say, find a store, join our email list, install our app, 
We know when users are most engaged. So we transform from this lean back passive experience of video to identifying the messages that are resonating with our audience and at the same time put the right calls to action at the right time to the right audience. And this has massive impact. Customers of ours are seeing 40% increase in Lyft, 40% increase or 50% increase in leads. We did a live video pilot for one of, one of, one of the leading broadcasters here in Israel, 500% Lyft and CTR. So massive results that people are seeing. And again, just very, very quickly, because we only have a minute left or so, um, we had great investors. We were recently were acquired by Algomizer, a company traded on the Tel Aviv stock market here. So that'll help fuel our growth as well. Um, I won't talk about my background, but feel free to come visit me afterwards. Um, we have a great roster. There should be some very uh, large brands that most of you know here. Um, but the commonality for all these brands is that they're using video, and they want to drive more performance from this and they want to get a better understanding as to what's working. We have three patents around the technology. It's a SaaS-based solution, which means it's super easy to use. We offer both a self-managed and a fully managed, so we have a full suite of services for customers. And in addition to uh, you know, selling to our current customers, we have a whole suite of new products that are coming, including a video landing page. Think Netflix and Amazon for customers together. We also now support live streaming, and soon being able to move outside of video in terms of AI-based um, calls to actions on your websites as well. So in summary, hopefully the takeaway is that you realize we're solving a major pain point for anybody who's using video. The ability to add actionable analytics with proven results, and our customers love what we're doing. But I'd be remiss if I didn't make an ask myself to the crowd here, since this is the whole point of our crowd. And I'm gonna ask you guys in the crowd how you can help. So number one, if you or know of anyone else, enterprises or even small, medium-sized businesses, that are using video and really want to get a better return on investment and get a better understanding of what's working, feel free to search us out. And any people who are potential business development partners who would love to be able to expand our reach outside of the US and the UK, happy to speak to them as well. Thank you guys so much.